Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's Tableau tutorial, what I'm excited to talk about with you is one of my all-time favorite underrated chart types, uh, being able to compare the running sum of value across multiple different years. So first things first, let's go ahead and just see what I'm talking about, because I think it's not always clear based on the uh, description, what that is. So you can see in this chart here, uh, comparing four different years worth of values. Uh, right now I'm shooting this in late 2022. So this year is still uh, not complete, but we can sort of see where are we at and how are we performing compared to around this same time last year. So you can see for 2022, our sales are poised to hopefully um, do better than any previous year. We can see that 2019 and 2020 followed very similar tracks, increase in 2021, and yet another increase here in 2022. Uh, so let's dig into how we would create something like this. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a day of year calculation that'll give us the day of year one through 366 if you're including leap years okay so let me pop over to a new sheet and i'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field and i'll call this day of year and so what i'm going to use here is a formula uh, or a function called date part and the cool thing about date part is it'll let you ask for just about any date part that you want from a date field so what i'm asking for is to give me the date part day of year all one word, lowercase, single quotations, just like that, give me my date part day of year of order date. So regardless of what year it is, it's just going to give me like a one through 366. So I hit OK. I'm going to take that day of year field and I'm going to throw that on the column shelf. And at first, Tableau is going to try and do some crazy aggregation and be like, there's 100 or 1.8 million days or whatever. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, what I want to do is to see the labels one through 366. So I hit this drop down and I'm going to set this to be a dimension so it individualizes the values instead of trying to aggregate them. And then now you can see I've just got a nice, you know, listing of a bunch of different values, one through 366. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and throw a copy of sales on my row shelf. And so right now, this is just all sales across all years for the first day of the year, the 10th, the 100th, you know. Um, so I want to put a... I want to put the year of the date field on color in the marks card. So I'm going to go ahead and grab order date, drag and drop that on color in the marks card. All right. And a couple of things here. So this data set only has a couple months worth of data for 2018. So I'm just going to go ahead and exclude that. I don't think that really belongs uh, as part of my analysis. So I'll put a copy of year of order date on my filters card. And I'm just going to say exclude 2018. And you might wonder, why exclude 2018? Why not just deselect it and keep the others? Uh, well, I want this thing to be dynamic. So when we're in 2023, I don't want to have to come back here and select 2023 so it gets included. So it's kind of nice just exclude the one thing I don't want because I know that's not going to change. Okay, so right now, again, this is showing me my daily sales, which is kind of chaotic. Uh, but what I can do is I'm going to go to the sum of sales pill on the row shelf. I'm going to hit this drop down, and then I am going to add a table calculation here. And the calculation type will be running total. Um, I do want it to be a sum and table across is perfect. It looks like it's adding all of the days together and restarting each year. So now I get this nice visual to show me where things are at. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a copy of my year field. My little shortcut for this is to control and drag and drop this year of order date pill. It's on color, but if I control drag and drop it on label, it's gonna put a copy on label. And then one little touch I like is to get the uh, label color to match up with the line color. So that can be adjusted in the label tab in the marks card. I go in here, I'll go to my font drop down, select March, <laughs> March, match mark color, uh, make it bold, make it bigger, a little easier to see. And now I've got this sort of nice story. Hey, how are we doing compared to previous years? Are we above it? Are we below it? Um, and so I've used this for all kinds of things. Sure, sales, uh, student enrollments, number of coins I found metal detecting, like whatever. You can use this for just about anything that you would want to track year over year and where you would want to kind of benchmark and see how you're doing, you know, this year or this year to date uh, compared to previous years. And uh, it does also sort of tell you some fun stories as well about the, the sort of acceleration or the pace of your um, 
accumulating values. So for example, what I mean by that is I can see I kind of had for the green chart, I sort of had like one slope here and another slope here. So it seemed like the slope of the data changed at about the midpoint of the year. And we saw a really big uptick and increase um, in our in our rate of growth, or in this case, in our rate of sales. So um, one of my favorites, I uh, hope that this serves you well. And feel free to follow along and subscribe here. And we'll have some more videos for you next week. Thanks.